broken fingers, missing ears, and some of the most ridiculous fight injuries that you'll ever see. And how much does all this cost to surgically repair is what we'll be looking at in today's video. And who better an example than the body modifying master that is Jack Hummer. By now I hope you've all caught up on the Bucky Hummer anime and if you have, drop this video a like and let's begin. Okay, so to start off with, we've got a human bite. Now, probably the majority of you wouldn't think that a human bite was that dangerous. However, we carry some really harmful bacteria in our mouths and around our teeth. So any human bite that really breaches the skin must be irrigated and treated with a course of antibiotics. Unfortunately, this will come in at a cost of around $50. Oh gosh, this never gets easier to watch as it looks like Jack's bitten off more than he can chew as he's lost the lower part of his face. Now he's really got two different options for treatment. The first is skin grafting where you take skin from somewhere else in the body and then transpose it back onto the face. However, this does come in at a cost of around $50,000. Now the second option is a bit more experimental with it being a face transplant. And this is where you take the face of a donor and get it transplanted onto your own. And yes, you guessed it, this comes in at a staggering $350,000. Let me know which option you guys would choose down below. And if you're picking a face transplant, whose face are you picking? Oh god, that's disgusting. We can see there Pickle chowing down of what he's bitten off of Jack. It doesn't look like he's going to be getting that back. But it's not like there aren't any risks with consuming human flesh, as it's an easy way to transmit blood-borne infections such as hepatitis or HIV. And knowing Jack's background of needle use for injecting steroids, it'd probably be a high-risk meal for Pickle. Ah, okay, so that didn't seem to go to plan for Jack there, as a punch like that should really have knocked Pickle out. But it looks like it's done more damage to Jack's hand than it has to Pickle's jaw. So you'd really want to get a hand x-ray to make sure that Jack hasn't broken any of the bones in his hands. That's going to come in at a cost of $250. Of course, the cost might be more if he sustained any fractures that need treatment. <laughs> <laughs> God, taking a close look at Jack there, it looks like he's completely out of his mind. It looks like this battle's also had a mental cost as well as a physical one, and it'd be quite difficult to be able to put a price tag on that cost. <laughs> okay, so first blood for Pickle there as he goes flying into the stands. Now, for any other human, you'd probably be thinking about several broken bones, facial bruising, and multiple lacerations up and down the body. However, Pickle isn't your average human being, and I'd imagine all of this was quite commonplace for him back in his Jurassic period. But for argument's sake, what would you do for the normal human being? Well, you'd want to establish the amount of broken bones he'd sustained from that injury, and so you'd perform what's called a skeletal survey, where you basically x-ray the whole body. And this comes at a cost of around $1,000. So here we've got Pickle getting face planted into the arena's seats, which actually look quite cushioned, which I'd imagine would cushion the blow for him. 
However, taking a face plant into any other surface other than this cushion, you'd be expecting several broken bones. The most common one being the nasal bone, and you're probably gonna lose a few teeth too. So let's get Pickle a nasal x-ray and also a dental checkup, which combined comes at a cost of $350. Senpai. Oh god, a direct kick there to the face. Now you're probably all worried about him breaking his nose, but I'd be more worried that he's fractured his facial bones and caused them to cave in on themselves. So we'd have to get him a facial x-ray which comes in at a cost of $250. And the most likely bone that he's fractured here is gonna be his maxillary bone, which as I said, if it is broken, can cause it to become sunken and depressed. And you guessed it, this is gonna need corrective surgical treatment to bring it back into the anatomical position, and it comes in at a cost of $50,000. <laughs> Oh god, stamping on someone's throat. That is absolutely brutal. And the real worry here is whether you cause a fracture to the underlying larynx. Now if this is broken, it can cause to a lot of swelling and bruising that can actually compromise your ability to breathe. So Pickle's gonna need a CT scan to see if there's a fracture, coming in at a cost of $5,000. And if the fracture's displaced and it needs surgery to correct it, you're looking at around a further $15,000. <laughs> oh God, having your ear bitten off. That is just cold. Now, the main difficulty with reattaching your ear is that it's mainly made out of cartilage, and cartilage generally around the body has a really poor blood supply, meaning that it doesn't really heal that well. Now, the surgery to reattach it is gonna cost around $15,000, but there's no guarantee that it's ever gonna resemble what it once looked like. <laughs> So it looks like Jack took more than the external ear canal with that bite, as we see that Pickle's now deaf on that side. Now you would expect an element of deafness with an injury like this to the external ear. However, so long as the eardrum is intact, this is likely going to be reversible with you being able to restore your normal hearing. But if the inner ear is damaged, then hearing loss might be permanent and Pickle may end up needing a hearing aid. And the most common type for this kind of injury is something like a bone-anchored hearing aid where you hear through conduction through bone rather than going through your eardrum. And this comes in at a cost of around $18,000. <laughs> Oh gosh, that crushing uppercut there from Pickle looks like it's completely obliterated Jack Humber's teeth as we see his mouth clam shut together there. So we're going to need an OPG x-ray to see the extent of the damage to his teeth. That's going to come in at a cost of $250. And for any tooth that is lost, they're gonna need to be replaced. And I'd imagine a man like Jack Hanma would probably want dental implants, which range from anywhere between three to 5K a piece. Now, remember, your mouth has got 32 teeth in them. So if he's lost just half of them, the total cost of surgery is gonna come up to $80,000. <laughs> Oh god, so we thought he'd just lost several teeth, but looking at this frame, it looks like he's also fractured his jaw as it's split into three pieces. And if we look at his maxillary bone, it looks to be pretty crumbly too. So I think we'll let Jack off the x-ray as we've got this perfect frame to model our surgery on, but I think he's gonna need plate and screw fixation to bring that jaw back into place. And that comes in at a jaw dropping $50,000.
Oh god, so the world's most deadly middle finger. But this final move doesn't come without its own costs. It looks like in performing this move that Jack ends up breaking both of his middle fingers. I'm sure that an x-ray would go on to confirm this and then he'll probably need both his middle fingers buddy strapped to allow them to heal. So it looks like all these injuries that Jack has sustained has resulted in him being admitted into hospital and per night he'd be looking at a cost between five to ten thousand dollars. And on top of that he's going to need some IV antibiotics as well as some IV painkillers and that comes in at around a thousand dollars a piece. And it looks like Dr. Kuraha has put Jack's neck into a brace, assuming that he may well have sustained a neck fracture. Now, they probably would have found this out by performing an MRI, which comes in at a further cost of $5,000. It's probably for the best that Jack isn't awake to see his medical bill. It might shock him enough to go into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack's at it again. I'm surprised that he can stand, let alone fight Pickle. But both of those blows that Pickle takes to the face looks to be crushing and compressing his facial bones. This would be further worsening and compounding the injuries that we speculated he'd sustained earlier, turning what I thought was only a maxillary fracture into a far more serious injury. I think we better add on a further 50k to account for the surgical costs to help with these other injuries. Oh god, so Jack takes further blows there from Pickle awkwardly landing on his neck and you'd definitely be worried about a fracture to his C-spine where he may well have crushed his cervical vertebrae. So he's definitely going to need some C-spine x-rays and possibly even a CT scan and if he's found to have fractured his spine he may well need corrective surgery such as fusion of the vertebral column which comes in at a cost of around 110 thousand dollars and that's not even the end of it to ensure that his spine heals correctly and he doesn't damage his spinal cord he may well need a halo brace whereby it's pinned both to his head and his shoulders to keep his spine straight and that comes in at a further ten thousand dollars <laughs> jack the doctor's probably wondering why couldn't you just stay in bed <laughs> Okay, so we can see there the devastating impact that those blows did to Jack's face as all of his bandaging has come apart and we can see that all the surgical work that was done to his teeth and jaw will probably need to be redone. So he's going to need an additional charge of $50,000. I'd imagine for the foreseeable future, or at least the next several months, Jack's going to need to eat through a straw. <laughs> and there we go, and legend has it that Jack's actually screaming in this scene after having been given his medical bill. And for a guy who's had so much surgical work done to his body already, you would have thought he would have learned the lesson and got some health insurance. So finally, let's combine the total of all of Jack's medical bills from my previous video, which I'll leave a link to down in the comments, as well as today's medical costs, and the total comes out to this whopping number. All I can say, Jack, is thank you for keeping all of those doctors in business. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and the update on Jack's amazing medical transformation. Don't forget to give this video a like and why not check out one of these two videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.